So in this video I'm going to go over how to turn an SPSS data file into something that's usable in M plus. So typically M plus can't load a direct .sav file. It needs to load something like a, a CSV or an Excel file. So we're going to turn what we have here into a CSV file that's usable by M plus and then show you how to actually load up and use that data. So the first thing we'll want to do is we'll want to make sure that we only have the variables in our data set that we're actually intending on using. So if I were to use this in M plus, I would only want to use these variables here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and remove all of the other variables that we're not using like that. Next M plus needs to know what missing values are in a data set. And right now I've got some missing values in this data set. However, they're just blank. They're missing. What we need to do is we need to turn those missing values into a numeric number that M plus can recognize. So what we're going to do is we'll go to data, or to actually to transform, recode in the same variables, select all of our variables, and say that system missing is coded as negative 9. So you could use like negative 99, you could use 99, you can use any other number than a number that is actually used in the data set. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue and then hit OK. And as you can see here, my missing values are now 99 and negative 9. So just so that I remember, I'm going to turn my missing values and put them into SPSS so that it knows. So I'll just copy and paste that so all of my missing values are labeled correctly. Now we're going to save this as a uh, CSV file. So we're going to file, save as, and we want to save it as a CSV, but we want to uncheck this write variable name to the spreadsheet button. So we'll go ahead and hit save. And now you want to boot up M plus. Start a new M plus file. And this is where we actually type in the command that we want to use. So let's we'll say data colon file is and open a quotation. And this is where you're going to put where the file is actually located. Now if you go to the actual folder itself, you can just copy the file path and paste it like so. However, you're going to need to change the direction of all the slashes to the opposite direction. And then put in what the CSV file is called. And that'll be it. Next, we'll actually want to name our variables, because if you remember from the CSV, we actually left the variable names out. So we'll add variable names are, this is where we just start listing all the variable names. make sure that you list as many variable names as you actually had in the, in the data set. All right. And now we want to tell M plus what our missing values are. So we'll say missing are, and we can just copy the variables here because we're telling M plus that all of our values have the same missing value. So then right here, before our semicolon, we'll just put in parentheses negative 9. And that's it. Now after this, you can run your models or whatever, whatever you want to use using an M plus file, but this is how it's going to be loaded every single time. So I'll just go ahead and save it. 